Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And before we get into today's video guys, I do want to apologize that my video on Tales of Arise is just a little bit on the late side. It's just been a pretty busy, hectic past um, week or so. Just had a lot of things going on in gaming for the channel and at home and stuff like that. And it's just been a pretty busy time, so I do apologize about that. And um, two big disclaimers I want to make about this video. Number one... Um, this video is sponsored by Bandai Namco. They did hook me up with a review copy and early access of Tales of Arise. So special thank you to Bandai Namco for that. And secondly, I am going to be using the same footage that I used for the raw gameplay showcase that I gave a little bit before Tales of Arise came out. Just to avoid spoilers or anything like that. But don't worry, I've made some decent progress of the game. It's just, especially where I am currently playing in the game right now, it is heavy heavy spoiler territory and while there would be a lot of good stuff for you guys to see and look at and a lot of impressive gameplay it's just for people who haven't played the game yet i don't want to throw any spoiler type stuff out there just now so um yeah i'm trying to avoid that as much as possible with this video now as of tales of arise my current progress in the game i am sitting around somewhere between 23 and 26 hours deep into the game so i haven't finished the game i can't do enough you know to give you guys a full-on review but i can definitely give you guys my first impressions of tales of arise and let you guys know how i'm feeling about this game or whether or not i think it's something you should check out purchase or anything like that now um as of Tales games, Tales of Arise is pretty much my first Tales game that I've played in depth. I've played two other Tales games throughout my lifetime. The first one I ever played was Tales of Graces F, which was a last-gen, last-gen game. It was a PlayStation um, 3 game. And I also played the demo for Tales of Berseria, which was a PS4 game. I'm not sure if that one was on PS3 or not as well, but I'm pretty sure that one was just a last gen game but other than that i really don't have much experience on um, with the tales series now this series has done something you know despite me not having much experience with it it has definitely appealed to me in a variety of amazing ways and the reason i love these tales games so much is because um one thing that happened to me when i was first introduced to rpgs um way back when i was going i'm going to say about probably about nine or ten years old roughly you know um two decades ago now or so, I got introduced to my first RPG, which was, you guessed it, Final Fantasy VII. And um, when I first played Final Fantasy VII, actually with my little brother, um, funny story, we had both um, been, uh, been just, you know, messing around with the game. We got into our first little combat scenario, and um, it was a turn-based game, and we couldn't figure out how to attack. We were Younger at the time, we weren't paying much attention to the screen or, or anything, and we had accidentally hit the attack button, and Cloud just swung his sword once, and we were wondering how we were doing, how we were doing that. And when we played Final Fantasy VII, as despite how good of a game it was, we had always wished that, you know, it was, it had that turn-based feel with like an action combat kind of thing. Well, the Tales series delivers on that. It's been doing that since forever, and that's something I've always wanted, you know, out of a, out of a turn-based RPG. And the Tales games do it phenomenally. There's so much customization with your characters and, and things like that. And this one, I have to say, is a massive step up compared to the others. Especially for the little bit that I played with Tales of Graces F and with the little bit I played of Tales of Berseria. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I don't have a ton of experience with them. You know, just to say that you know, this is the best Tales game of all time or, you know, this is some crazily major upgrade or anything like that but compared to what i played with the last two games this is definitely a step up compared to the previous tales games that i've played there's just there's so much more customization in this game compared to the other ones it's it's unreal and not to mention the combat is just fluid now the combat it's good in all in all the other games but it's like every single iteration they make they improve it they add some type of small new system or something different you know just to make things um that much more better and another cool thing about this game is you can pretty much play any character you want customize them to your heart's content put whatever outfits and weapons and things that you want on them and that's really cool and not to mention you know customizing their moves attacks buffs debuffs all the different items farming and stuff like that that you can do in here tails is amazing for you know a turn-based rpg it's kind of like this game takes that formula from you know like mmo rpgs and adds a lot of those things into a single player game it always you know gives you some replayability stuff to grind for hidden areas different um end game bosses that you can kill for 
special and rare items and different loot and stuff like that and better outfits. There's always so much to do with these games. And not to mention, you know, Bandai, they'll add real simple microtransactions, which I know is not a word that people want to hear, but real simple stuff to add to the game, you know, to always keep things, always keep things fresh. Now, I'm not talking about things as of like, you know, new content and stuff like that, but more outfits for you to customize your characters, you know, do your little adventures on, stuff like that. And, and let's face it, guys, me as an MMORPG guy, mainly at heart, character customization, that's my thing. You know, if you add that into a single-player RPG, a multiplayer RPG, or, or whatever, you know, give me the option to dress and doll up my characters how I want to, I am happy. And with, you know, the ultimate edition of Tales of Arise alone, again, special thank you to Bandai Namco, I was able to find a ton of of different, you know, outfits, customizations, and things that I was able to put on my characters right at the start of the game. And mind you, this is this is just, you know, the basic stuff that came with the game. Nothing I've unlocked yet. I hadn't made any progress in the game yet. It was just all goodies that were included included with the game. But the story the story of the game is a lot of fun. Um I will say for those who you know who are a bit sensitive to how um to like darker and grim more storylines. I will say I'll give you guys a warning about that. The storyline in this Tales game is very grim, especially to some of the other ones I've seen. This one um takes place, you know, more among the lines of like slavery times and, and stuff like that. And um it's not it's not necessarily, you know, something that is that's directly happened in in our past, you know, here as humans in, in real life or anything. But when you play this game and you and you look at, you know, a lot of the story details and everything, you definitely can see how it can relate and possibly push some, you know, some sensitive buttons, depending on how you feel about those kind of things. So I do want to let you guys know that ahead of time. The story, the storyline in Tales of Arise is pretty grim. The visuals, beautiful. The soundtrack is awesome. You guys know it's a Tales game. There's always, you know, some some badass anime theme right at the beginning with a nice cutscene, the boss theme is awesome, the battle theme is awesome, and the combat, like I said, is just wow. But that's you know that, that that's to be expected with um with uh w with with every Tales game. But honestly, guys, this game has been a ton of fun. I've been enjoying it, and I just I, I can't wait to play it even more. You know, I can't wait to finish it, get involved with some of the more end game activities, whatever secret stuff and everything that they have going around. It's for last gen and current gen consoles i'm personally playing it on the xbox series s and it runs phenomenal on there unfortunately i can't speak for how it runs on xbox one or playstation 4 so i don't really have any experience with that version but i will say you know with the next gen versions you have a performance mode and you have a quality mode both modes run phenomenal and um yeah you know if you're a tales fan or you know if you just like anime games in general you should definitely check this out but anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed today's video? Smash that like button. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.